Okay, everybody, this is rolling. A little unboxing from you. Let's see if we can open this carefully. Aha. Look at this. This is a new box set by Rob Zombie. The Lunar Injection Cool Aid Eclipse Conspiracy. See what is inside. So I ordered this one straight from the Nuclear Blast. Uh, aha. Website. I have to say. I really like Rob Zombie. Okay. So this box set includes the vinyl. Clear slash transparent vinyl. Here we go. The slip map, oh, very flashy. I don't know if it glows in the dark. I will try. And then you have this very flashy as well set that includes should include the cassette. I think there's some goodies as well. It looks like the goodies. You have a pin. Patch. That one here should be the cassette. If I can get it out. Now I have to say this is cool because the last box set I ordered was um, the last Lamb of God, and it comes with a thicker box set, and you don't have this kind of. Uh, things you know to to all what you have inside cool cassette ah. and you can always count on uh, Rob Zombie to give you great graphics great artwork well if you're into the Zombie ghoulish kind of a cartoon artwork. Okay, that's a nice thing as well. And this one here should be the CD. There you have it. Okay, I will open that one later. I have to say that uh, first impression is that this is a quality package, you know, there's some foam to hold everything so it doesn't uh, move inside the box when I send it to you. So this is really, really good. Okay. And there's this huge booklet that comes inside the box. Yes, beware of zombies. So really, really cool looking artwork again. 
Mr. Zombie. Great pictures of him on stage. The Warband. John Five on guitar, who really is a brilliant, brilliant guitar player. Um, he played with uh, Marine Manson. He also played with Rob Alford in a project called Two. They released one album. And he was also the guitar player on the DRR um, album, which was an album done by uh, David Leroth. So this was before, I don't know what he did. Uh, he did In the Man's Mind, Skyscraper. Maybe he did another one, then he did this one, DRR. Then he went to uh, other stuff. But I think DRR is a band. It was, was released, uh, I think... It, not sure, but maybe even before a little and enough or the one just after. So I, I actually listened to it uh, the other day. <clears throat> it's a brilliant album by David e. Ross. Uh, so check it out. And John Five is on it. The Howling Man. All right. So that's the Rob Zombie box set. Looks pretty cool. Cassettes, CDs, and LP, and some goodies like they like to do in these kind of uh, box sets, which is very, very cool to have. I don't usually use them, you know, I don't sew patches on my uh, jackets. Ah, that's the inside of the box. Nice touch as well because this is usually blank. So, hey. Great package. Can't wait to listen to this one. I actually heard a few uh, a few songs he released. Um, so that's from Nuclear Blast as well. Uh, this is uh, from an artist that I really like. It's called Ricky Warwick. He released a few albums um, on his own. He was the lead singer and the rhythm guitar player for The Almighty. If you remember that band from the 90s. And Ricky released a series of albums that are really, really uh, good. Uh, more rock and roll, more folk music. And uh, it's, a, it's a really good songwriter, great songwriter, I have to say. He has some very great, passionate lyrics. And I really like that. I have no idea what this sounds like, but... Uh, as a fan of him, I had to check this album. I listened to the first single, which is, uh, I think it's the first track, When Life Was Hard and Fast. And it's okay, but uh, I hope there's a lot of uh, ballad like he likes to do, because it sounds really great. He's really good at this. So, great folk inspiration. By the look of the album, I bet this one would be a bit more, you know, rock and roll. Nice vinyl and the inside jacket. Cool picture of the man. Ah, there's a, I guess this is the lyrics. All right, is a. Um, Checking the additional musicians here because, as you can see, there's always Joe Elliott from Def Leppard doing some backing vocals. So, this is cool. Uh, Luke Morley from uh, Thunder. Andy Taylor, I can't remember what band it was from right now. And Dizzy Reed, I think it was from Guns N' Roses. So, really, really cool. Uh, let get the lyrics inside. So. Cool, can't wait to listen to this one actually. When life was fast, when life was hard and fast, and not fast and hard, okay? Here you go, so that's what I will be listening to today. The new Rob Zombie. Great box set. And the last album by Ricky Warwick. Ooh is also the lead singer of the new version 
of Thin Lizzy, which was re Christianed uh, uh, Black Star Riders. So, quite a pedigree, as you say. All right, see you next time. Bye bye.